Let's look at the problem statement. We want to design a logic circuit using basic logic gets. This logic circuit should take two inputs, A and B, and it results in a digital one when exactly one of the two inputs has a value of digital one. An LED should be turned on when the result is digital one. From the problem statement, we know there are two inputs of this logic circuit, A and B. Assume the output is called Y. Then Y is digital one when there is one and only one input is digital one. Therefore, Y is one when A is one, B is zero, or oh, another case is A is zero, B is one. A is one, B is zero in logic expression is A, B naught. Therefore, Y is equal to A, B naught plus A naught B. We may also approach this problem from the choose table. We write the inputs on the left side, and the output y is on the right side. When both inputs are zero, y is digital zero. When one of them is digital one, y is one. When both are one, y becomes zero again. This will give us the same logic expression for y, a, b naught, plus A naught B. And this expression has its own name, exclusive all. When designing a logic circuit, we are limited to only basic logic gets. Supposedly, those two lines are the two input signal lines, A and B. We would use two inverters, or not get, for signals a naught and B naught. So this is the line of A and this is B naught. Signals A and B naught are connected by an AND get for A B naught. Similarly, A naught and B are connected by another AND get for A naught B. And eventually, those two groups are connected by an all get. We'll get A B naught plus A naught B. That is Y. Similar to the schematic, this sample circuit used three different types of ICs: 7404, that's in waters; 7408, that's two input and gets; and 32 is all get. Two switches on the top are used to represent the input signals A and B. Switch not pressed is the default, which corresponds to a digital zero. When a switch is pressed, it makes a digital one. The line along the first switch, that's signal A, after a not get, we'll have A naught. Signals B and B naught are similar. Signal A naught and B are fed into a two input and get for A naught B. Another and get is used for A B naught. And finally, those two groups are combined by a all get for the final result y, a naught b plus a b naught. And y is used to control an LED circuit. In general, the hardware setup for digital circuits is simpler compared to analog 
because we only need a power supply of 5 volt to represent the digital one. As for digital zero, it is ground. The first case of circuit testing, both inputs are zero. Previously, we said the default of the switch status indicates digital zero. So for the first case, we really need to do nothing and the LED is off. In the second case, we make signal A, digital one. We press the first switch button and the LED is turned on. This is because the circuit output Y becomes one. In case number three, we test A is zero and B is one. We press the other switch instead. The LED is also turned down. So, so far, everything works very well based on the truth table. Now let's see the last case. Both inputs are digital one. The LED is turned on right after the first one is pressed, but it's turned off the moment the second is pressed. As a conclusion, we have successfully designed a logic circuit using AND, OR, and NOT GETS. This exclusive OR circuit drives an LED when it has an output value of digital 1.